field trip. Gentlemen, great to see you. So today we're at Dyer & Post's salon, not the normal Alpha M studio. The other thing you're probably realizing is that my hair looks a little bit rough. The reason I'm here is obviously to get a haircut, but I thought why not take this opportunity to help you get a better cut from your barber or stylist. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I have an appointment to see Steven. Thank you. Let's have a seat. There are five things that separate your hair from amazingness. Have you ever been to a salon or a barber and gotten just an incredible haircut? But then another time you go and it's like, yo, this is kind of jacked up. Well, there are five things that I've identified that are going to help you and help your stylist become one. The first thing you can do to ensure that you get the best cut possible is to be on time. On time means five minutes early. I know what you're thinking. You're like, yo, five minutes, seriously, who cares? If I'm a minute late, why do they get all bent out of shape? Well, here's the deal. Their schedules, if they're good, are packed. They've got time slots. They've got a time slot dedicated for you. If you're a little bit late, you're going to throw off the entire day. And so if you want to ensure that your hair comes out like dynamite, give them the courtesy of being on time. One of my favorite things about coming to a salon as opposed to a barber shop is this, getting your hair washed, shampooed, and head massaged. Guillermo, you've got such strong hands. <laughs> and it's time to move on to tip number two. So what's up Aaron? Um, what were you thinking today? You think about a change or keeping the same style we've been working with? One of the biggest mistakes that men make when they go and see a stylist, it, whether or not it's new or somebody they've been seeing for years, is not giving them feedback. Saying, I don't know, whatever you want is a surefire way to jack your hair up. Instead, be prepared. I was thinking something like that. Yeah, a little more paper than cleaned up through the side. Be prepared. Bring a picture. If you've got a new style you want to try, don't just try and explain them. Show them what you're looking for. Another pro tip that I, that I like to tell guys to do is you never know when you need to find a new stylist or, or barber. And so after you get a really solid haircut, have your stylist take pictures of your hair from all four sides. And then let the cutting commence. The relationship that you have with your barber or stylist is a special one. They're here to help you, but if you help them help you a little more, even better. Stylists and barbers are also not mind readers, so if you get a haircut or something that you don't really like, let them know. Don't be a dick about it, but just let them know, hey, a little bit longer next time. Now the question is, when do I know that my stylist or barber sucks? <laughs> If you go in once and you get a bad haircut, go in again, try and direct them a little more. If they do a bad job again, kick the rest of the curb and stop, find somebody new. You better watch yourself, Posta. <laughs> nah, Stephen is my hairstyling soulmate. How long have we been together? Too long. No. Too long. 13 years, maybe. 13 years. And uh, everybody always asks me, hey, I'm in Atlanta. I'm in a different part of Atlanta. Where should I go and get my haircut? I say, Dyer and Posta, take the drive, meet the man. I don't know any other salon because I always come to Steven. I will link down below this video to Steven's salon and website if you're in the area and you want a fresh cut, look them up. There you go, brother. Time to move on to tip number three. You need to make sure that the products that you're using are right for your hairstyle. A lot of guys never bring it in and never actually show the stylist what they're using. Tip number four, have the hairstylist teach you how to style your hair. You want to take these and do it? I'm kidding. I'm going to style my own hair. I'm going to be starting off with about eight sprays of the salt. Guys, if you haven't checked out Pete and Pedro salt, it's a sea salt um, pre-styler. This stuff adds crazy volume. We've infused the product, however, with sea kelp to make sure that your hair maintains proper moisture. After this, you're going to add some of your styling product. I'm going to be using the Pete and Pedro Putty. Guys, if you want to check out any or all of the Pete and Pedro line, there's a link along with a discount code down in the description. Apply product all over. Then I'm going to blow dry it into place. What do you think? Huh? Yeah? 
What? Exactly. Gentlemen, if you want to check out any of the Pete and Pedro products, including the Putty, which is the best hairstyling matte product you're ever going to find, or the newest addition, the Pete and Pedro Salt, there's a link down below along with an amazing discount code. Congratulations. Your hairstyle looks dynamite. There's only one step left. Number five, which is no who to tip. Tipping etiquette is something often overlooked by dudes. You always, if you're going to a salon, want to tip the person, the man or woman who washed your hair and, thanks brother, have a good one, the person who made the magic happen. Gentlemen, why? Because nobody wants to cut a cheap ass's hair. Gentlemen, follow these five hairstyling tips and your hair will look amazing.